Now the purpose of this function is that we could solo different areas in our project a bit more easily than doing it on the tracks. Obviously, we could just go and solo whatever track we want to hear, but sometimes we just want to hear an area of our track. And we could do that with Razor Edits. We could just create one, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and right dragging. And we want to solo just this one section and unsolo it when we're done. And we could do that by creating some custom actions or using cycle actions to toggle it using the SWS extensions. But let's first go through the steps we need to do. Let's say I wanted to solo the vocal right here. Let's hear it unsold. You're never here when my tears dry. You're never around to see me thrive. Let's say just wanted to solo this section. Let's create a razor edit like this. Then we'll go through some actions. Type in the filter, split razor, and we can choose this action right here, which will split our items at the razor edit area. Double click this, and it changes our razor edit to a separate item before and after. Then we want to solo just this item. Toggle solo item right over here. Now it's soloed. Now you want to move our play cursor to the beginning, move cursor to the start right here. It puts our cursor right there. Then we might want to loop this section. Set loop item and choose this option right here. Now it loops this section when we solo it. And then finally, we want to play. Transport play and choose this option here. When my tears dry. When my tears dry. And we've accomplished exactly what we want. But then we want to undo it. Hit undo a bunch of times to undo it and get back to normal. And we could do that with two custom actions or just one using cycle actions. Again, using the SWS extensions. So if you don't have them installed, you might want to check them out over here. Just install the version you need and then reopen Reaper. So let's go through creating a cycle action based on everything we've done so far. If it's installed correctly, you should have the extensions menu right here. I'm going to go down to the cycle action editor, which looks like this. We'll create a new cycle action by right clicking. And let's give it a name. We can right click over here to add each action that we did before. Let's choose Add Selected Action in the Actions window, which tells us the action window isn't open. So we could open it. Let's put it down here, clear this, and then put in those actions from before. To split the items at the Razor Edit, right click again, Add Selected Action, and it puts it right there. And do the same with the next one. Toggle Solo Item right here, right click, it selected action, it puts it here, and do the same to move the cursor to the start. Right here, right click, add the action, right here, do it again to loop the item. Right over here, set loop points to items, right click, and add the action, and finally, we're gonna have it play. This way we don't have to hit play each time. It'll do it for us. So now, It'll do all these steps with one action. But we also want to create another action to toggle with this. So we'll add by right clicking a step like this. And then after it, add more actions that are going to toggle against this one. So we'll start with undo and choose undo right here. And select that action and it goes right there. And then finally, we'll clear our razor areas right here. Right click. And now we could toggle it between these actions and these actions. And we'll choose to toggle it right here, very important, and then apply it or save it as a cycle action. So now we can go back to our actions. And that cycle action shows up right here. Let's give it a keyboard shortcut. And now it's set up to work. We can create a razor edit. Like this, hit that keyboard shortcut. When my tears dry, 
when my tears dry. And it solos and plays just that razor edit section. And we're done, hit that same keyboard shortcut, and it undoes it all. And it's really useful for dealing with multiple tracks. Let's say I wanted to solo the vocal and the drums, create a razor edit for both tracks, hit the keyboard shortcut. You're never here when my tears dry. You're never around. You're never. And it loops so we can work on those two items. Hit the keyboard shortcut again, and it undoes it all. And we could do it with tracks that are not next to each other. Let's say I wanted to hear this vocal with the guitar, create a razor edit, hold on the shift key to create another one. Hit that keyboard shortcut. You're never here when my tears dry. You're never around to see me thrive. And we just hear those two pieces. Hit the keyboard shortcut again. It undoes it all. And we could do this to work out arrangements. Let's say we wanted to start with the vocal, bringing the guitar right here, bringing the drums and bass over here. We could do that by creating separate razor edits. You're never here when my tears dry. You're never around to see me thrive when it's my birth. Just like that, we could test out different arrangements just by soloing different areas using razor edits. And we can hit the keyboard shortcut again to toggle it back to where we started without cutting up our items at all. So that's pretty much it. That's how to solo Razor Edit areas in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys. Let's go. Oh!